this tutorial demonstrates modeling of the pivot guide using Creo parametric or any CAD modeling applications. The methodology, the modeling sequence and the procedure which is involved in the modeling of pivot guide remains fixed for any CAD applications. The key commands which are used for modeling this pure guide are extrude and shell along with the default datum planes and the default coordinate system. This is the isometric orientation of the pivot guide. Let us begin with the tutorial. Create a new part file. Pick on new. Under the new file creation window, select the part. Enter the name of the file as pivot guide. Remember, the words in the name of the file should be separated by hyphen or underscore. Otherwise, the file name will not be recognized. Cancel this default template, which is the inches template. Pick on OK. As the name already exists in the temporary memory, change the name to underscore 01. Now pick on OK. Select the unit in the new file option as millimeter newton second. Pick OK. This is the new file which is open. The name of the file is pivot guide underscore zero one and the extension or the save extension of this file is dot prt. Switch on the datum planes. This representation of the datum plane in the space is isometric. Extrude the block which is shown in this isometric 3D view. Pick on Extrude. Under the placement, pick on Define. It is asking to select a datum plane or a planar surface or a sketching plane. Pick on this datum plane and pick on sketch in the placement. Now select the sketch view for the 2D sketching plane. Draw the sketch with the dimensions. Circle which is center and point circle starting from the center point and having the diameter of 50. Extend the line and complete the loop. Line, extend the line from here. Complete the loop with an arc. The dimension which is specified for the width of this line as 50. Pick on dimension, pick on this line and place the dimension here. Enter the value as 50. The line are perpendicular to each other. Use the constraint perpendicular. This line to be perpendicular to this line. And the dimension which is specified for the height of this line is with respect to one center point here. That center point is obtained by giving the fillet between two lines. The radius of the fillet is 25. The angle at which this inclined line is oriented is 20 degrees. Hence, 
orient the line to 20 degrees pick on dimension pick on the vertical line and this inclined line to be 20 degrees the radius value of this arc to be 100 now enter the dimension for this line pick on the dimension here pick on this line and pick on this point place the dimension over here and this dimension to be 45 pick on dynamic trim or delete a segment delete the segment here and here there is one more dimension which need to be defined for that pick on the dimension from this line to this point place the dimension here this dimension to be 85 the radius of this fillet is 25 once the dimensions like a length angle radius and distance along with the constraints are defined it is a time to proceed for the next loop the next loop will be a circle from the center point the diameter of the circle to be 10 there exist one elongated cutout over here pick on circle draw a circle here and one more circle both the circle should have the equal radius draw the bitangent line which will connect two circles similarly here pick on trim option trim the lines over here enter the radius of this circle to be 12.5 and the distance at which these circles are placed is 40 millimeters geometry is now complete pick on done to proceed for the extrusion set the default orientation or the isometric the depth of this extrude will be 40 millimeters pick on done now use the shell command to make this body hollow from inside pick on shell select this face press hold control pick on this face select the faces by pressing hold the control these are the faces which need to be removed similarly these faces need to be removed similarly these faces once the body is made hollow enter or specify the thickness of these walls currently it should be 10 millimeters pick on done the base body is now ready it is the time to put the portion of the model or the feature which is present at the top it is always better to enter the depth of the extrude in the symmetric fashion pick on the extrude right click on this edit definition this extrusion need to be symmetric pick on options say symmetry here pick on done now the extrudent portion of this model is divided half on the each side of the sketching plane now pick on the extrude again pick on placement define use the plane that is the previous plane used for the previous extrude use your use previous plane pick on sketch view now draw or take the reference of the circle draw a center line which should be parallel to this edge hence use the constraint say parallel constraint here this edge should be parallel to this edge now draw a circle which is situated over here pick on the circle here draw a circle of 
diameter that is 20 millimeters. It is covered with one more circle. Use the concentric circle option. Under the concentric circle, drag a circle of the radius 20, diameter 40. Join the lines. Pick on the line option here. The line should be drawn from here to the base and till here and it should complete the loop. Use dynamic trim option to trim the extra entities. Now use the constraints to make the lines parallel to the center line. Use the parallel constraints over here about the center line. This should be parallel and this should be parallel. Specify the height of the center with respect to top edge that is dimension from here to here. Place the dimension over here. It should be 20. Now use the constraint coincidence or align. This line should align with this line. The sketch with the dimensions like diameter, the height along with the constraints is now complete. Set the isometric orientation for this model. Pick on done. Observe that the sketch is extruded in one direction. Make it option that is symmetric. This should be extruded symmetrically to a depth of 30 millimeters. Pick on done. This completes the model. Set the isometric orientation. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on the modeling, please visit the playlist in my channel.